Now to embattled politician Peter Lucido, who is again at the center of a controversy. The Macomb County prosecutor is accused in a new lawsuit of racial discrimination. And in the midst of all that, his office celebrated the birthday of Confederate General Robert E. Lee with a post on social media, which is causing an uproar. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell went to work to find out what he and his alleged victims named in the lawsuit have to say about it. This is a story that starts back in 2020 at a Shelby Township protest. Reverend W.J. Rideout III says as he protested, comments about Black Lives Matter protesters that led to the suspension of the township's police chief, he was arrested and charged for failing to obey a lawful police order. It was hard on me, my family, my church. A judge later dismissed the charges and the reverend sued, saying his First Amendment rights were violated. Then this Wednesday, a former assistant prosecuting attorney, Joshua Van Lan, filed the lawsuit, saying he got fired for blowing the whistle on racism and retaliation. His attorney, Deb Gordon, says prosecutor Peter Lucido charged black protesters more severely than white protesters and wanted to appeal the dismissal of charges against Rideout in retaliation for Rideout's lawsuit. Is it illegal for a prosecutor to retaliate against a lawsuit with attempting charges. Yes, I mean, it's a First Amendment violation. Mr. Rideout had a First Amendment right to file a lawsuit. When the truth came out, now everybody's like, wow. Now Pastor Rideout is saying, wow, again. The day after that new lawsuit, the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office celebrated the birthday of Robert E. Lee, the Confederate general who defended the South's right at the time to own black human beings as property in a war that led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Americans. Because it represents racism, hate, uh, separation, discrimination. So why would prosecutor Peter Lucido make such a social media post while facing a lawsuit accusing him of racial discrimination? He has said before that he will always talk to us. So I texted him, called him, and came here to Macomb County to get answers. Kim Russell from Channel 7. I was wondering if Prosecutor Lucido was available. Prosecutor Lucido refused to speak to us. He later sent out a statement saying in part his communications director made the post and a new review process is now in place to prevent such insensitive posts in the future. I say that he's lying. I say that nobody believes him. I'd say that his signature is written all around it. Prosecutor Lucido also said he had it taken down. And while it was removed from some sites, it remained on LinkedIn. I showed it to residents in Macomb County. How does it make you feel? A little angry. Yeah, I think it's inappropriate. He needs to be held accountable. He shouldn't be in any type of office. In Macomb County, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.